Now, as you can see, the uh, curry started to bubble a lot. And when it gets to more and more bubble popping up, the chef now is almost ready to, to serve. Uh, here we are, he's topping some freshly chopped coriander just to give you the depth into the curry. We are serving this as a takeaway, so we'll put it in a container. And here we are. <coughs> and we put a bit more coriander on the top and there we go we just showed you how to make a chicken madras once again thank you for watching the video thank you here we are we are making uh, a chicken madras the chef has put some little bit of oil and he's seasoning a bit of garlic small piece of chunk of garlic tossed a bit of salt and he's put some mixed curry powder there he's putting about two, two tablespoons of chili powder now he's, he's put the, the base gravy in the onion gravy now he's putting a bit of I tangy sauce we made that using <coughs> peeled tomatoes we make a special sauce goes in all of our base curries and now he is he's putting one tablespoon of is our homemade paste homemade hot paste we use something called naga naga is a kind of a big green chilies you've seen them in the large supermarkets and we blend those naga together, make a special paste. And now he's he's putting in the the pre-cooked chicken pieces in a sauce. Well. There we are. This is a, a fairly hot dish, mainly eaten in southern India, very popular dish in southern India, chicken madras. It's named after the Madrasi city, city of Madras itself. Uh, we'll wait about four or five minutes till it gets cooked. 